Hey, if you're looking for something fun to do with the kiddos today, we got an option, and you probably already have everything you need for it in your house. Dina Cupper is standing by with little Dina IY. Good morning. Okay, I know the excessive heat, it's just not something we really want to spend a lot of time in, but if you do need to do a couple of activities for your kiddos, I have a great water activity for them this morning. You could do it in the shade outside before it gets too hot. You can also do this in the bathtub or the sink at home, but for the purposes of the morning hours, we're going to go ahead and show you what you could do outside. So if all it's going to take are a couple of quick items you probably have around the house, a bucket maybe that you use for dishes to clean your dishes. If you don't have a big bucket like that, how about a Halloween candy bowl? Anything you have around the house that could be a vessel for water. So all you're going to do is fill it up with a little bit of tap water and find objects from around the house. I found chip clips here that are just easy, light, and they float. You don't have those? How about some little bath toys? I know you've got a couple of those hanging around the house. What about some clothespins too, or even some lids? Literally anything that you have around the house can be made into a fun activity. And you do need some chopsticks or some pieces of wood. Even a couple of thicker straws might work if you don't have chopsticks. So we're going to take our chopsticks and we're going to take some of the items and we're going to place them in the bucket. So here we go. Let's take maybe a couple of the chip clips. We're going to take the froggies, maybe even some lids that you find around the house. All those items float. And parents, you're welcome because this can last as long or as little as you want for your kids. It gives them something to do on this holiday Monday. Take the chopsticks and they have to fish all the items out. Now, if they don't know how to use the chopsticks like that, they can still hold them separately and grab this way because I know that's a little bit harder for some of the little ones. So they can physically go through and this is a great activity not only for hand-eye coordination, but it also will keep them busy throughout the day. There's lots of different objects, different sizes. They're going to figure out how to best rotate those objects and then pull them out. Remember that game Operation we used to play? Kind of like that when we were kids. And I'm telling you, you can use anything. This is a lid from the milk carton that I'm just going to use to pull out and fish. And so you can play with your kiddos all day long. They can splash around. They can get wet. That might feel a little bit good on this very hot day. And enjoy that Dina IY water project with your kiddos on this Monday. Back over you guys.